Good dreaming, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. It's the Sheen the Dream here. Today, we're making some Jump Force videos for you guys. I'm a little bit sick, so if my voice sounds a little weird, you know, that's why. But, you know, the show must go on. So, the main topic of today's video is Yugi Moto from Yu Gi Oh! These combos are going to incorporate some ultimates, also some arena changes, some advanced combos that you might not have known that you were able to do with Yu Gi Moto. Also, going to have uh, one or two. Um, tag team combos in there as well uh, if you like to switch out your characters a little bit so when you switch them out you can get a little bit of extra bonus damage in there as well now just to let you guys know I am recording this using a Xbox controller on my PC um, so but I'm pretty sure you guys can on PlayStation can figure out what of the buttons correlate to on the PlayStation controller So, starting with the first combo, it's going to start with X four times, followed by Y twice, and then you want to use your Dark Magician Strike ability to finish off the combo. Now, this combo is relatively easy, and you guys shouldn't have any problems doing this one. Uh, this one is pretty short, but it does get you a decent amount of damage onto your opponent. <laughs> So now the next combo is a little bit more difficult, but should still be fairly easy to pull off. You're going to start with X three times. You're going to make a slight pause in the middle of this combo. You're going to press X a fourth time, followed by Y twice, and then you're going to end it with your Dark Magician Strike. Now this is how you're going to be extending a good amount of your combos for all of these characters, which is basically by doing your X attack and then stopping it and then starting it right back up again. Uh, it's a good way of extending your combos without having to rely on using your tag team support to extend them. Um, and it can definitely come in handy for your combos when you're experimenting on your own and you are trying to make your own types of combos. <laughs> The next combo is going to be another fairly easy one. It's just going to be X three times, followed by Y twice, and then once again you're going to end it with your Dark Magician Strike. Now this next one is a little bit different compared to the last couple of combos. You're going to start this combo off by doing your down and X. This is going to be doing your low rush combo. But after the first down X, you're going to follow it immediately by your Dark Magician Girl Summon. Now the timing on this is a little bit tricky, but the trick to do it is as soon as you do your down X, you want to immediately do your Dark Magician Girl Summon, like almost instantaneously. It's a very tight window to get this right. You might get it wrong a couple of times for the first few tries, but once you get the timing down, you'll be able to get it without a hitch. After you do the Dark Magician Girl Summon and you catch your opponent in the air and you hit them with the Barrier Field, afterwards, once again, you're going to finish it off with another Dark Magician Strike. This one is a very short combo, but it does a lot of damage. <laughs> The next combo is going to start off with two X's. After the second X, you're going to do your down X. This is going to make your Dark Magician do a sort of flame move. It's the same one that you used for the last combo in the beginning. After you do your down X, you're going to once again immediately do your Dark Magician Girl Summon. And after you catch them in the air and that move ends, you're going to finish it off with another Dark Magician Strike. Another short combo, but does a good amount of damage. The next combo is going to be our first arena change combo. You're going to do three X's followed by down X. You're then going to charge up your Y attack, which will hit them with a very powerful stun move. After you hit them with that and they're stunned, you're going to go ahead and charge up your X attack, which will then initiate the arena change and you'll send them flying to the next part of the map. 
The next combo is another arena change combo. You're gonna do two X's, followed by a down X. You're gonna charge up your Y attack to hit them with the stun lock. And after that, you're gonna hit them with a charged X attack, which should launch them into the next arena. The next combo is gonna be X three times. You're gonna follow that by doing down X. And immediately after the down X, you're gonna do your Dark Magician Girl Summon yet again. And at the end of that, you're gonna end it off with a Dark Magician Strike. The next one is going to be our first ultimate combo. You're going to start it off with two X's followed by a down X. After you do the down X, you're going to do your Dark Magician Girl Summon immediately afterwards. And at the end of that attack, you're then going to use your ultimate attack, which if you timed it properly, it should catch your opponent in it as well, which should get you a good amount of damage on your opponent. <laughs> Next combo is another ultimate combo. This one is shorter, but should give you more damage at the end of it. You're going to start it off by doing down X, immediately followed by your Dark Magician Girl Summon. And at the end of that attack, you're going to go ahead and do your ultimate. Because this is a relatively short combo chain, but incorporates big hitting moves, this one should get you the most damage out of it. Now the last combo, and in my opinion, kind of the trickiest one, is going to be your tag team support combo. So what you want to do is you're going to press X five times, and immediately after the last X hits, the very strong one that sends your opponent flying, you're going to want to press and tap, not hold, your support, your support button to switch in your next character. And then you want to basically hit X two more times after you make that switch. This will then make the character, which is Yugi, go after the opponent and do a couple of attacks as well before you gain complete control over the character you switched in with. Once you take control of that character, you're going to want to do X four times and whatever fast special you may have with that character that he can do in the air. Now, this last one basically has a weird mechanic to it when it comes to switching your characters because you can basically still take control of the first character that you're using for a second or so after making the switch. Um, if you guys are having trouble with this one or if you want to know more about the whole character switching mechanic and how that's properly utilized in combos, I can make a separate video dedicated strictly to that. Um, just let me know down in the comment section if that's something you guys are interested in. But this is the end of this combo video for Yugi. I hope it did help you guys out and expect to have a lot more of these videos coming out. I already have some more planned and some combos already in the back of my head for some other characters. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for those combo videos because it's gonna get real crazy on the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in though. If you did like the video, make sure to smash that like button and I will see you guys on the next one. But don't forget to stay happy, be positive, and never give up on your dreams. Bye-bye now.